All right, we got Ultimate Birthday Icon, Miroslav Klosa. Let's take a look at him and let's try him out. We're looking at a card that has five star skill moves with a four star weak foot, high medium work race, and he is six foot. His current acceleration type is controlled 91 pace, 91 shooting, 81 passing, 86 dribbling, 82 physical. When we do dive into his in game stats, it looks like we have a very usable Miroslav Klosa card in this game. And that right there honestly makes me super excited. Right off the bat, obviously, you are going to take a look at his shooting. That's definitely something that he was known for when he was playing in real life. 93 attacking positioning, 95 finishing, 87 shot power, 85 long shots, 92 volleys, 84 penalties. The base stat of his attack positioning being at 93, as always in every single one of my reviews, I expect his attacking AI to be really smart in this game. Not quite sure how exactly it's going to be, but I do expect him to make the right runs in behind the back line. I expect him to put himself in really good positions inside the box. But as always, I'll just have to wait and see and test it out. His finishing at 95 is obviously such a massive bonus when it does come to this card. It's going to allow him to be lights out inside the box. He's got the four star weak foot as well. So right foot, left foot inside the box. I expect them both to go in. And you're probably thinking Cam, he only has 87 shot power. I'm telling you guys right now, shot power doesn't really mean much in this game. Yeah, obviously, if it is above 90, it may help you out a little bit. But I'm telling you guys right now, that finishing stat is the key to a person shooting in this game. And since it's at 95, once again, I expect this guy to be extremely lights out and clinical inside the box. His long shots are at 85, but I'm honestly not too worried about that. I don't think Klosa is going to be the type of person where you are going to be banging in those long shots. The recommended chemistry style for this card 100% has to be the engine. And you guys can probably guess why. It just so you can increase his dribbling as much as possible. He's already got the shooting, so that's definitely something you don't need to upgrade. But when you do take a look at his dribbling stats, especially since he is a player that is six foot tall, that is an area of this card that you really need to upgrade. So his agility goes from 90 all the way up to 94. His balance goes from 85 all the way up to 93. And his dribbling goes from 85 to 93 as well. So you're going to have his agility, balance, and dribbling stats all above 90. And for a card like this, that can actually come in extremely handy. So I expect this guy's left stick dribbling to feel pretty good. I'm not expecting him to be overly shifty. I'm not expecting him to get by every single player using his left stick dribbling. But I also do expect this card to be able to get out of some close corner encounters with defenders using his left stick dribbling. But as always, as I always mentioned, I would just have to wait and see. You do get a little bit of a pace boost as well. A plus four to his acceleration and a plus four to his sprint speed. So his acceleration bumps up from 94 to 98. And his sprint speed goes from 88 to 92. 98 acceleration, 92 sprint speed on a card is definitely something that you cannot complain about. So I'm super excited to see how well this card does in space. Now, when it does come to his physical stats, he has 85 strength and 70 aggression. I'm going to tell you guys right now, the fact that he does have 85 strength is going to help this card a whole bunch. And lastly, he does got 99 jumping and 99 heading, which is obviously to be expected for a Miroslav Klosa card in this game. We do dive into his play styles. He has two play style pluses in the Power Shot Plus and the Aerial Plus. Power Shot Plus, pretty self-explanatory. Put this guy in really good positions and you can be really effective with this Power Shot Plus. And Aerial Plus, definitely something that you would expect coming out of a Miroslav Klosa card. His aerial game is going to be phenomenal. And if you can put this guy in some really good spaces inside the box he can score a lot of headers for you and i cannot wait to try that out as well he's got the finesse shot play style i'm really happy that he does have one of the meta play styles in this game right foot finesse shots inside the box combined with his finishing stat should be really clinical combine this with the power shot it can be really versatile when it does come to finishing obviously he does got the power header combine the power header with the aerial plus that can be really dangerous as well he's got the acrobatic i really like the acrobatic play style because it does perform volleys with improved accuracy and has access to acrobatic volley animation so with his volleys at 92 and him having the acrobatic play style this card can be really effective with volleys in this game. He's got the Relentless, which I'm honestly pretty surprised about since the stand was only at 82. But I'll tell you guys right now, that's actually a big plus to this card. And lastly, he does got the Quick Step, accelerates faster during explosive sprint. This can allow this guy to be a little more explosive and be pretty good in space as well. As always, we will be trying out Klosa as our main striker in a 4-3-2-1, just so he can be our main focal point in our attack. So with that being said, though, guys, let's hop into the gameplay and let's have some fun with this Klosa card. Get into Klosa. Skips by Van Dyke like that. Let's go. Don't know what he's doing with this keeper, but get close on space. Our post. Love that finish. Let's go, Klosa. Bosa, great finish. Let's go. That's a great finish, Closa. Bosa. 
love that fake. Let's go. But I liked how he was actually able to fake the shot, get it onto his left foot pretty quickly, and then finish. That right there is a good sign. Yes, close. Uh, all right, where is he moving right now? Top of the box, good space there. Prince Ferdinand, great finish. The fact that he was able to turn him quickly, get on the ball and finish. Again, pretty impressive, not gonna lie. Especially for a player that's not really known for dribbling. Ah, uh, wins the penalty, let's go. All right, he has 84 pens. I thought it would be higher if I'm honest. We're gonna go top left here. Not saving this. Osa, in space. Near post, great finish. Get him on it. Elastical, borrow, finish. Love that. Go closer. Go closer. Yes, closer. That is lovely. Closer. Yes, closer. That is lovely. All right, Hem's got the ball out wide. What's it supposed to do? Staying centrally. Still staying centrally when I'm ringing it. Dybala has it. He's staying centrally. I hold it out here. What does he do? Does he come short? Nah, he's not really coming short. He just stays centrally. I like that. Hemp goes inside. Where does closer go? Makes that run out wide. I like that. Okay, let's bounce it back now. Kosa goes immediately back central. He's doing all the right thing, guys. I'm really happy about that. Go Kosa. Our post. Great finish. Power shot in space. Love that. Yeah, it's Kosa. Dude, that power shot is so effective. Kosa. Not a boy closer. Closer. Yeah. It's still there. Yes, there you go. Haha, <laughs> a little glitchy there. That's fine. All right, so after using this closer card, I can 100% say that this card is actually really fun to play with. And he's honestly really good in this game as well. There's a lot to like about this card. So let's get into it. First of all, the thing that stands out with this card 100% has to be his shooting. His finishing is extremely consistent inside the box. It's super clinical no matter what foot you use. Even with the four-star weak foot, his left foot is extremely clinical inside the box. And I'm telling you guys right now that 95 finishing stat is definitely the best stat when it does come to this card. His attacking positioning did influence his attacking AI a lot. It wasn't anything crazy. It just allowed him to do all the right things. The right runs in behind the back line, picking up the right spaces on top of the box and also inside the box. Didn't really notice a lot about his shot power, guys. It wasn't really much of an issue. Even when I was performing the power shot, there was still quite a bit of zip to his shot. So don't even worry about the shot power when you are using this card. Wasn't really able to get a lot of volleys with this card. You didn't really see one in the gameplay. But I'm telling you guys right now, if you do get him in a good position to perform a volley, he will perform them at a very high level and they can be really effective. I thought this card's pace was really impressive as well. I think the plus four to both his acceleration and the sprint speed from the engine really helps out this card. Because it just allows him to be really effective in space. When you can get this guy running in space in behind the back line, allowing him to pick it up and go one-on-one -on -one with the keeper, he's lights out. And he's also able to get by a lot of defenders in this game, utilizing his pace. I think the quick step definitely helps that out a lot, especially since it does help him out with the explosive sprint. But just in general, his pace and his acceleration felt really good, and I was really happy about that. Lastly, I did feel like his strength was really good as well. He wasn't really getting knocked off the ball. And sometimes he really used it to his advantage when the defender was on his back. Now, when it does come to his dribbling, I have to say I am a little bit surprised because I did feel like it wasn't going to be as good as it was. But he actually felt pretty good on the ball, especially when he do perform the five-star skill moves. I honestly did think that he did do them pretty well. And that right there is another bonus as to why this card is pretty good. The only knock on his card has to be his passing. But at the end of the day, guys, you're not really too dependent on your striker to be a really good passer. All you want him to do is get to the end of all of your chances. When you can do that, especially with this finishing, this card is super effective. So honestly, don't even look into his passing too much. The play styles that definitely helped out this card 100% have to be the finesse shot. Finesse shots inside the box with this card, if you can get the right angle, are absolutely crazy. Also, his power shot is really fun to utilize as well. Get him in the right spaces and they can be really effective. I couldn't really get him in good positions for a cross. So I wasn't really able to test out his aerial plus. But I'm telling you guys right now, since he does got the aerial plus and the power header. If you can put this guy in good positions inside the box, he can score a lot of headers for you. So overall, I honestly really enjoyed this Miroslav Closer card. And as of right now, 
His price tag is around 100k, and I honestly do think that's a bargain for this type of card. He surprised me a whole lot. I honestly do think this card is going to be overlooked a lot. I think this card is extremely underrated. You're getting a guy that has 5-star skill moves with a 4-star weak foot. A really good combo in this game. He's quick. His finishing is amazing. His dribbling is pretty good for this type of player. And also, he's really strong in the ball. He's powerful. He's explosive. Really underrated. And for the price of 100,000 coins, you are getting an absolute bargain. So, if you guys do got the coins, go pick up this card. You'll have a whole lot of fun using him, and he will score a lot of goals for you guys. And with that being said, if you guys did enjoy the video, leave a like. That would be much appreciated. Subscribe for more EAFC content. Make sure to follow all the socials in the description. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.